Hello! Welcome to Day Off Gaming. I am your host, Tellian. And we are playing on Epic. And we have just conquered the worm. And we got a new key to the sewers. So that should be right up here. There we go. This axe is really nice, especially with the double thrust or double swing that it does occasionally. Oh, that was my fault. All right, well we're almost fully healed. That's fine. All right, so let's look at our map. Looks like we're clearing out some areas. So let's see what we can do. Oh. Yeah, I remember what we were doing here. We got this gentleman. Oh, hello. Oh. I forgot about him. See, this is why you want to learn the bow and keep your bow skill at least as a decent level because you are going to run into this a lot. And of course, watch your health. <laughs> hey, there we go. We can't get over here though, apparently. Or yes, we can. There we go. And let's change it back to the axe. There we go. Ooh, we have a door. Oh, the... Oh, oh, wait. What? I'm not sure what happened right there, but okay. Oh, what do you want? I salute you again, young adventurer. I hope you find the answers you seek. Hey, still here? I thought you had passed on to the next world. Before leaving, I wanted to thank you for what you did for me. However, I lack one thing. After my death, a minion of Harnacon took a ring that has belonged to my family for generations. Although this room is empty, I feel the presence of this ring. I know it is here. It must be hidden somehow. If you find it, I will help you one more time. Well, I'll see what I can do, but I can't promise anything. Alrighty. Well, let's see if we can find what is hidden. And let's try not to get attacked by anything. <gasps> Probably behind a hidden wall. Which, of course, can happen. Oh, well, there's a hidden wall here. Okay. Nothing there. Nothing? Okay. How about here? Nothing. Nothing there. We're just searching the walls. Uh, 
Okay. Still nothing. Okay. We're just looking. Okay. Oh, what's this? Hey, we found it! I'm making sure we didn't miss any extra rooms. Nothing? Okay. Okay. I have seen some walls where they have a secret wall and another secret wall. So that's why I was checking. My ring. It's been so long since I... Well, how do I give it back to you? You're like some sort of hologram. Can you hold it? It is not necessary to give it back. The ring itself is the aid I wanted to give you. I will charm it to give you some of the vitality I had in life. Oh, well, I appreciate wow, that. Wow, thanks. I'll gladly wear it. By the way, have you remembered your name yet? I still do not remember my name. But I will seek it, as I need a name in the next world. Well, well good luck. See you later. I'm starting to like this spirit. Ah. He is just the remnants of a weak pilferer that dared to enter this fortress. Well, isn't Zara so nice? And let's see what we got. Health. Plus 18. We will take that. Okay. All right, where are we at? Okay, we finished that room. We need to go down. Where are we at? Oh, there we are. Zero, may I ask you a question? You can, but don't expect an answer from me. Before, you told me that pure spirits are under Harnikon's control. But I don't think that's true. In fact, I think that he abducted them. Abducted? How did you come to such an absurd accusation? You told me that the pure spirits are in those boxes to be isolated from the material world. And they've been there for a long time. This is correct. So what are they doing here? Locked away, when they could be free and happy in their own world. I mean, I don't think they chose to be in a prison rather than in their natural environment. So I think that in truth, they're here against their will. As usual, your ignorance blinds your eyes from the truth. It's been hundreds of years since the great gods started their war. Many pure spirits were killed under the orders of the rival gods. Those pure spirits that survived were hidden in this terrestrial world, far from the reach of the great gods. Fuck, they're like refugees? Yes. One of the great gods created magic boxes of isolation, locked his pure spirits in them, and hid them in this castle with the hope to return them to their plane after the end of the Great War. So if one of these big gods finds out they're here, he'll just have to destroy this castle, the boxes, and goodbye spirits, right? Not at all. The great gods can only control this terrestrial world through the creatures that live in it. They cannot act directly but can communicate with mortals who follow their orders in exchange for power and wisdom. So the gods spend their time ordering people to come here and open the boxes, right? Right. And Harnikon? What's he doing here? Harnikon was chosen by the god who hid the pure spirits to keep this place safe from invaders. Wow. He must be pretty powerful to be chosen by a god. By the way, thanks for the answer you didn't want to give me. <laughs> you tricked me again. <laughs> yeah. We got the answer we... Oh! Hello. I didn't ask you to hit me. Ooh! I wanted the frostbolt. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something. 
See how that bait didn't do basically anything to it? That's why I was explaining, I think, the last episode about uh, the red and the blue version of creatures. It didn't do nothing to them. Uh, where a blue, it did a lot of damage. So just be mindful of that as you play this, obviously. If you ever do play this. I enjoy this game. As I said, I really like the banter more between the main character and Zara, the shadow. Because it's just kind of humorous on how uh, they interact with each other. I think it's hilarious. Can we come down without being hit? Looks like it. Oh, catacombs. We have a... To the catacombs. There we go. Thank you. Ooh, we got stuff down here. There we go. Hey, we got another area player. Oh, hello. Hey. No magic. Okay, so if... What we did here... Okay, hold on. See, if we go up... A little bit further over, there's a drop. But I don't know where that drop goes. So I'm kind of... Ner... Ooh, what? Wait, what is that? Oh, is it one of those things? Okay. I remember these vaguely. They are a pain in the rear. They shoot fireballs. Nope. Up you go. Up you go. Oh, I hate these things. Okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to run. Up! Oh, oh, you can't me. Those things are a pain in the butt. I remember those things. And we need a level 2 wand and we don't have it. Oh, do I want to waste a point just to have it? Because these do have... I want to say they have a certain number of uses it usages, but I'm not 100% sure. Just do this. Oh, no, 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 no. We're being hit. Yep, 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 yep. I'm caught up by game safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I hate those things so bad? Oh, they suck. Okay, we're going to try and go around him, I think, for now. When you get the uh, Frostbolt, they're not so bad. There is, of course, a version that's opposite uh, that you'll eventually see. But, oh my gosh, I hate those things so bad. My memory is coming back why I hate those. As you can obviously tell why we hate them. <laughs> okay. So... If we fall here, I think it takes us pretty much right to, it, to that room. Yeah. There we go. Nope, 
Give me that. Yeah, that's still hurting a lot. Don't get me wrong. That is definitely hurting a lot. Um, what's over here? Well, apparently it's an exit somewhere. Well, I'm glad we did not get hit. <laughs> I think we would have died, which would have been bad. Oh yeah, give us that. Thank you. We need some health. We need some health here. Okay, we're going to go down this other stairway. So we're going to just run. Run. Okay. Yeah, those things absolutely suck. Until you have a way to deal with them, they really do. Okay, so we're done here. We can go down. Or over. Anything? Oh, there is a door there. Oh! There's a secret door here. Okay. Looks like we may need to remember this door. Okay. So let's... Uh, do a thing. Secret door bottom. That way we remember that's down here somewhere. Okay. I want to come up here and open this secret door right now, or this uh, way out. Oh no. Oh, frogs. Either way, we're gonna come in here. Ooh, we have a new uh, passage. Okay, let's uh, come over here. Let's have our healing friend get us healed. Yeah. Health has been game saved. I appreciate it. Thank you. Especially since we found a new door. I was like, we are definitely saving this. All right, let's see. Hey! No, no tonguing. That is not appropriate. This is a family friendly channel, don't you know? Not really, but still. I try to still watch what I say sometimes. If I can. Anyway. Alright, so we cleared this area. Next area, what we got? This is very empty. This has me concerned. Anytime I see an area that's very quiet, especially on a whole row, I'm like, uh, why? Hey, we've reached level five. Okay, we got a, another wand of frostbolt. Okay, so since we're in a safe spot, we're going to keep our bow maxed, our constitution, and our armor maxed. I do want to get our fire up. But I don't know if I want to get anything else up right now. I'm keeping the ones that I know for sure that we want to keep up, up. If that makes sense. Hello! There we go. Gotta be close to them as they jump, it looks like. 
for the frogs. Ooh, that's a hole. That's not a miner. That's actually a good one. Okay. Can we go up? It does look like we can go up. Okay. Was there a trap? There was a trap. Okay. Yeah. They've been carved. Okay. Oh! Hello! Oh! Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, some of these traps are very hard to notice. Oh. Of course you're posing. Yeah, that's gonna... Hurt. Okay, we're gonna go back and heal. Because that damage of poison would kill me so quickly. Alright. So, where are we at? We're still trying to find our way around through here. Okay. Can I go the other way? Hold on. I could. Still want to see what's this way. What is all the way over here? Well, what's down? Hold on. Right? Down? Okay, this is the sewer area. Oh, and there's our friend Yogurt. How nice. We'll come back this way here in a minute. Ooh, what's this? I see another friend. A human? Here? How is this possible? I caught this human in the entrance of the castle. It was easy to possess his body. He barely resisted. You already know of such a weak and pitiful race? I visited their world a long time ago. I posed as one of their gods, Ooh. and they gave me names like Poseidon and Neptune. The god of the sea. Foolish humans. The great lord commanded me to come before you, pure spirit, so you could give me your knowledge. I will not give you the knowledge of blue magic. Unless you prove yourself worthy, you will show me your loyalty and respect. I yearn for the giant marble statues that used to ornament the temples dedicated to me, reflecting my greatness. Some statues were sculpted here, although they are inadequate mockeries of the ones that the humans created. Shadow. Rebuild one of my statues, and I will grant you my knowledge. You will have to collect pieces of a statue. You will find them hidden among common stone. You will recognize the pieces as they are made of the finest Gimmerian marble. Sapphires. Two beautiful sapphires, blue like the sea, took the place of the eyes. However, the crows that dwell in this place love small shining objects and took them away. A coral crown. Some of the sea snakes that dwell in the depths of this castle found such a treasure, and now it is in their possession. You will have to get it from them. A trident. Finally, every statue wielded a trident made of ice. Goblins kept them stored in big chests with the hope of using them in battle. Blue magic essence. To unite the pieces, you will have to acquire the blue magic essence of 50 creatures. I also ask a favor. I cannot stand the fire creatures that dwell in this part of the castle. I desire that you kill at least five floating fire helmets. 
You can recall this quest whenever you want in Menu, Quests, My Quest, Remember Quest. Yeah. Holy crap, this one's gonna be... This is gonna take a while. Some of these, obviously, we've already seen. Piece of Poseidon, and we need 20 pieces. This ain't the area with the, uh, no, it's the next one, okay. So we're gonna be going around, finding all the pieces. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing this fun bit for a bit. You know all these pieces. Uh, is there? Yep, there is stuff up here. All right, we need that piece of Poseidon. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I get you poisoned or hitting you with the uh, whatever? Yeah, it's a pity, ain't it? Um, let's see. I don't see any more marble up here. So we're going to come down and around because there is an area over here that we saw that had a hidden area, right? Yeah, right here. I'll be honest, I remembered somewhere there was a, and sometimes there are hidden doors behind this like blood-stained wall, uh, not just here, but different places. And I can't remember where. I just remember that some of these st stained, stained areas had this type of door. And so that is something we're going to have to be aware of. So anytime we get in front of these, it's kind of one of those. Let's, let's just double check. Ow! You stupid frog! You're not supposed to hurt me. Uh, but that's something that we're just gonna have to worry about as we play. We've got nine to 20, so we're doing decent. I'm gonna go all the way through here just to make sure we're not missing anything. I don't think there was anything over here. I don't even remember why we came in here before. But we're gonna make sure there's nothing in here that we need. Have we been in here before? Wait, how did we miss this spot? I feel like somehow we never came in here and we probably should have. Hey, running from me, none of that. That's not nice. You knocked me off. The edge. Living on the edge. Sorry, I cannot sing uh, Aerosmith very well. But I'm pretty sure most of you don't come here for my riveting singing abilities. And that's perfectly fine. See what we got here. I don't know why we never came in here because we definitely have not. I can feel it already just by how things are going. Uh, 
I almost feel like this is just a circle. Oh, there is a chest up here. Oh, slow poison. We don't care about slow poison. Okay, so there is nothing up there that looked exciting. Well, let's see. Let's go back one more screen, right? Yeah. See if there's any more pieces of Poseidon around here. Looks like there is. Okay. We have to finish destroying this thing, though. So let's see what we can do. Try this. Hey, we got him. That's one red helmet down. Not to be confused with dark helmet. I think it's about time for us to probably wrap up this episode, but I just want to see... Okay, we can't go in there. That's fine. Let's go up. I'm just trying to clear up everything in this area that I can. Ooh! That took care of this area. Okay, I don't see anything else, so I think we can probably just head back. I'm Kora Bosch Zeta. Game saved. All right, so we are getting close to heading towards the sewer area. We are trying to get uh, the magic of Poseidon, which is basically water magic, aka frost magic. And we have a lot of things to pick up. The piece of statue is the biggest one. Most of these, like the Great Round Sapphire, the Coral Crown, Trident, stuff like that. It's going to be a little tricky, but we should be able to get a lot of these uh, further down in the uh, sewers. So, I am enjoying playing this game again. It has been so long, and it's... For all the simplicity of it, like the graphic wise, there is so much we can do and I'm so excited to share this with you. So I hope you continue to join me on this journey and I will see you all next time. Until then. <laughs>